Thanks, Josh. Well, I've put Vince's beautiful kangaroo rump through the mincer because I'm making the ultimate quick and easy Australian dish, the Aussie burger. I have some chopped bacon. Just add that to the bowl. I'm adding some finely chopped rosemary and thyme to ramp up the flavours. Crack an egg in to help it bind and season very well with salt and pepper. Kangaroo loves pepper. I've also got here some onion and garlic that I've been frying off for about five minutes, so that can go straight into the mix. And now it's time to get your hands dirty. Get your hands in there and mix it all around so the herbs get evenly distributed throughout. Now that my mixture is completely combined, I need to make my patties. Try to show a little restraint and don't make them too big. I know it's hard and put them aside until you're ready to cook them. I've just put my burgers in the fridge to bind them a little bit and now I'm going to tell you about some of the other yummy things that are going into my burger. Now it wouldn't be an Aussie burger if it didn't have beetroot in it. So I've got here some beetroot that I've roasted. Two peeled beetroot with some salt, pepper and olive oil that has been roasted in the oven at 180 for about half an hour. This is how they turn out. I've also got some caramelised onion, which is just sliced onion, slowly cooked in olive oil, brown sugar and balsamic vinegar. I'm using the teppanyaki plate because I want to sear the burgers and keep them really moist and flavoursome. I've heated this up to a medium to high heat. Brush with a bit of oil and place your patties down. Now it's time to flip my burger and this is a really important time because I'm going to put the cheese on as well. Now the residual heat from that side of the burger and the heat from the grill should start to melt the cheese slightly. When the burgers are almost cooked, slice your buns in half. I'm using these nice ciabatta rolls. Crack an egg onto the grill as well and place on top of the patty once it's cooked. Now it's time to assemble. Place a good layer of onions on the bottom. Then place the burger, cheese and egg on top. Slice the beetroot and layer that on top. I've dressed a bit of rocket really simply with a tiny bit of oil and balsamic and that goes on top of the beetroot. I've spread the top of the bun with Dijon mustard, a good sprinkle of salt and pepper and then close it up. have an Aussie pub classic transformed into a healthy and delicious meal for home. The perfect accompaniment in my opinion, a nice tall glass of pale ale.